It's time to calibrate the system. This initial calibration defines the space and all the anchors learn where they are in relationship to each other. Once this is established, the trackers can be tracked through the 3D environment. In the previous video, we placed the pucks on the stage. We can see black is downstage right, red is downstage left, green is upstage right, lastly blue is upstage left. All of them are powered on and ready to go. Now let's look at the software on the tablet. There are two sides of the software, live and show editor. All the prep work before the show will be done in the show editor, while a running show will be viewed in live. Since we're doing prep work now, navigate to the show editor. First we will use the points menu. It's not called anchors because there are three different types of points used in the ZackTrack system. One type are the anchors hung around the room. Another is calibration points. They can be created manually by us for reference. Third, there are auto function points. These are created by the auto functions app when we create zones. The last two we will dive into later in this course. For now, we are looking at anchors. Even before they are calibrated, you will see them populate this menu. They are given an ID number. You will also see their EUI number, position information, connection, and status. When plugged in for the first time, their position information reads 000. If it has position information from a previous calibration, you will see that instead. To begin the process, press System Calibration at the top of this menu. You will be prompted with three options, Reinitialize System Auto, Reinitialize System Measure, and Reposition Anchors. The first one is for a new setup and utilizes the mesh ranging system to automatically calculate all the anchor positions. The second option, Reinitialize System Measure, is also for a completely new setup, but instead of using the mesh ranging system, a laser distance measurer would be used to manually define the anchor positions. The third option, Reposition Anchors Auto, is used if you need to only reinitialize the position of one anchor. It does not change the whole coordinate system. We will be working with the first option because we have a whole new setup and we want to use the power of the mesh ranging system for calculating the anchor's location. So we'll choose Reinitialize System Auto. At the top of the next screen, we will leave Advanced Mode off, but double check to make sure we see four of four trackers. These are the pucks laid out on the stage. From here, we press Next. The system reminds us the pucks need to be at least three meters or 10 feet apart from each other. This is important or else the calibration may be off. Press next one more time. Now the calibration is in process. What it is doing here is measuring the distance from each anchor and puck to every other anchor and puck and trying to place all in 3D in a way that fits those measurements. It automatically goes through several attempts and thousands of iterations before choosing the best arrangement it can make. This process can take up to a few minutes. Once it is finished, you will hear a fun ding, assuming the tablet's volume is up, letting you know it is complete. What reading did we get? Good, green, is what we're looking for. However, the other results you can get are OK, yellow, or bad, red. In these cases, you will want to double check the setup process and try again. Are the anchors placed too symmetrically? Are they hung too close to the lights? Are the pucks not far enough apart? Is there any interference such as a video wall prohibiting the calibration? For more assistance in these cases, contact your local distributor. If you got a good calibration, it's time to start tracking. But first, upload the show to the server. In the top right corner of the tablet, you will see a little yield symbol. This is letting you know the show file on the tablet is not synced with the server. This happens anytime we make changes on the tablet. Click on the symbol and press upload to server. Now we are back to the green check mark. At this point, toggle back to live mode. On the bottom half of the screen, we can see a little 3D representation of the stage. All the anchors have been placed there. You can even toggle it to 3D mode and orbit around seeing if they are hung like they are in real life. If you pick up a tracker off the cradle, you will see it appear on this screen as well. Start walking across the stage with it and commence tracking.